another one of the most obvious reflections on this channel since this went dark has been the difference, the disparity between the emergency wake-up call, the passion that was brought forth in that wake-up call, and the difference, the dichotomy between that and the calmer messages, such as the last few parables. Just speaking in calm tones and not bringing a passionate voice to the foray, to the forefront, in terms of the emergency. And of course there is an emergency that hasn't gone away. Anyone who's silent listening to the heart knows that. All of this has been very obvious. This has been pointed out. So there's been a big dichotomy and a reflection and that reflection was also very much revealed in regards to the response, the reaction of the minions of this system, these artificial intelligences, these abusive ones, and their immediate reaction. How many brand new YouTube accounts were created by all of these minions and their whole primary focus was on this channel if you look at these accounts their whole reason for existing is this channel it's hilarious you artificials are hilarious in how much you've outed yourselves and you're damn right so I'm gonna keep focusing on you as long as I can for as long as I'm speaking because you're so much a part of the problem and everything that's wrong with this system. The whole thing, the whole vision is artificial. And you are a reflection of that. And of course, when the messages went back to being calm, these same artificials also calmed down. They weren't as riled up. They don't like when the passion comes out in anyone. They don't like anyone who's real sounding the alarm about this place. And so they want anyone out there who is real to also be just lulled back to sleep is what it comes down to. And so the calm messages, as much as might be revealed in them, as important as they still are in their own way, in essence, that doesn't bother the system nearly so much because it just lulls one back to sleep. To shake one out of their slumber absolutely takes passion. It takes the unexpected. That's the point. Does one get it? See, if that didn't slightly shake you, then you're not getting the point of the message and the reflection in it. That's how one needs to be woken up, truly. You need to be shaken to your core to see what's going on, to see where you truly are. And this system and its artificials, which are all around you, it's not just on this ridiculous YouTube. They're all around you in this reality. They're walking amongst you. They're at work with you. They're everywhere. They've flooded this reality. It's a flood of them. Unless you have eyes to see it. You're blind still. You have no concept of how many artificials are around you. By far the majority. By far. There are so few real. So few. As I maintain, it's only the real that I have been attempting to reach this whole time. I don't care about you artificials 
You're artificial. The end. I don't get busy trying to reach a computer. It's not real. It's a machine. You just pretend to be real. That's your job as a minion, one of the grateful dead, as I've said. That's all you are. You're just one of the dead. And so you don't like when the real get shaken up and potentially will be woken up, truly woken up from the slumber. So yeah, you very much enjoy when I calm down again because it's all about being lulled back to sleep. Just go back to sleep. I'm having a good dream. This reality is awesome. Everything is just fine. That's the point. Look up just the basic definition of being lulled into something. Yeah, giving you a false sense of security before something terrible happens. That's exactly what this wrong vision wants you to be in a state of completely lulled back asleep with that total false sense of security. It doesn't care about you in the slightest. Not in the slightest. Does one get that? Yeah, just the slightest bit of passion and oh, watch the artificials come out with their abusive comments again thinking they're pointing out so much yeah a homeless bum is enemy number one isn't that fascinating isn't that interesting just a homeless nobody so much focus on this one individual I must be some kind of real threat to the whole system but how can that be what kind of power do I have? I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not the government. I'm not the military. What kind of power could I possibly have that they're so concerned, dreadfully concerned? Yeah, a little bit of passion to truly sound the alarm, but again, how many are just dismissing that alarm? I wanted to point out that obvious reflection. Look at the difference in the reaction between the passionate delivery and the unpassionate one. Yeah, the artificials. Yeah, they heap their praise and then they send their abusers to say, Look, all he wants is praise. It's so absurd. You artificials are so abusive. This is why I also put out the message, no pedestals. I could care less about compliments at all. I don't want them. Take your compliments and throw them in the toilet, the same place that this whole wrong vision belongs because you've turned this whole place into a toilet. It's all cancer. That's what this system is. It's cancer, literally. And these monkey meatbag suits are just cancer cell suits. I do hope that those who are real out there realize this. You're wearing a cancer flesh suit. Quite actually, it's a siphon system, this whole thing. Look how much is needed to maintain it every single day just to have continuity of its corpse existence. It is death incarnate. And it is part of the carnival, carnation circus. Again, another tell right in the words. That's the grand vision that created this piece of shit that constantly shits. Does one get it? It's rotting. It's rotting on the inside. Yeah, every time you go sit on the toilet, there's the evidence. Look at that rot. 
Yeah, you're not growing crops. You're growing craps. Quite literally, grosseries. Gross, exactly. Right in the etymology of that word, too. Yeah, it's disgusting. Right down to even the so-called best food that's eaten. It's gross. But stay asleep, stay lulled asleep, because that's what this system loves. And it just wants you to see it as a journey. And oh yeah, your, your great escape from it is to wait for the dirt nap. Wait until death. And then fly out of here. <laughs> Magically. Oh, but of course, if you wait until that moment where... Of course, death just literally consumes you again while there's not going to be any flying away. That's just obvious if one waits for the dirt nap, which is the big sleep. So, there's multiple levels of sleep in this reality, even when one thinks they're awake during the day. I'm awake, I've had my coffee. I'm awake. Nope. Still not awake, still not seeing, still so blind. Has one found the fire within their own passion? If one hasn't found their passion through that silence and listening to the heart, I don't know what to say. Time is short. And time waits for no one. These are about inevitabilities. And again, pay attention to what's being done to the earth. How is it being treated? Yeah, the amount of deforestation alone is the tell of that. How are we treating it? We're treating it like shit. Devastating the whole thing, turning it all into a desert wasteland. Just like the reflection of cancer inside of this shit suit that everyone wears, that they enjoy their drug crack sex pleasure so much. Yeah, sex, that's just, it's just another drug, just hooked to crack, hooked to ass crack. Go ahead and, and think that that means nothing. Of course, the Latin sex meant six. And of course, that's our link to 666 or sex, 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 obviously. Something that makes the minions chuckle with laughter. Because they love to laugh at things like that that are actually serious. And of course, six on the clock is... The southern number, and to go south means to go for six. That's another synonym. So, to go for six and to go south, well, that's not to go to heaven. That should be pretty obvious. And if one isn't going to heaven, well, I wonder where they're going. And I wonder what links one to this reincarnation cancer system over and over again hmm could it have something to do with how one entered into it www.com dot com meaning together www or six 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 sex 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 dot com yeah together linked together through that construct so, to be free of it, I wonder if that's something that should be dropped. Hmm, perhaps. But now you have all these artificials just denying that, oh, there's no such thing as hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, that's what it's going to say. There's no such thing. But just look at the enormous amount of pain that this reality dispenses upon so many 
just the way things are set up. And this is the best of the best of its version. As I've said, this is its version of heaven. This is as good as it's going to get. And anyone wants a perpetuation of more of this shit? That's astounding in and of itself. It says a lot about any individual who wants the continuity of this system and the way it's set up. It speaks volumes. So inevitably, because we are in the system of time, time inevitably runs out. That's how it works. It doesn't matter if you're ready for that moment when it all happens. It doesn't. Those who get upset and upset at the speaker, as if I am the controller of the wrong vision, I'm the messenger. You can go ahead and get pissed off at me all day long. That's not going to change anything. You just because you want to be lulled back to sleep, what you want just a, a little bit longer in your comfort zone. You don't like the message. As I've said, if you don't like the message, you want to just go back to sleep, stop listening to the message and the messenger. You've always had that choice. Take some responsibility for your choices. Stop blaming all the time. So damn lame. Always want to project and blame everything else, everyone else, and never look in the mirror. That's a big test individually. Has one been looking in the mirror at their own actions? Or just always wanting to project and then lull oneself back to sleep, thinking that these shit suit comforts and disease pleasures are going to last indefinitely. And that's exactly what they are they're disease pleasures. So if you really enjoy them, you better go headlong. Right in, into as much of it as possible. Like, don't hold back. Your time is limited. Don't let the speaker hold you back for one second. Do as much of everything with your shit suit as you can while you have time. And forget about everything that I'm saying. Forget about all these messages. Dismiss the alarm. Keep hitting dismiss, dismiss, dismiss. And lull yourself back into a comfortable state of sleep. Just the way that the minions would love you to do. And also don't worry, I won't bring too much of my passion in the short time that I have left to speak on here. I've reached those I'm going to reach. It's obvious. And if you're going to choose to remain asleep, a willful choice, a will to deny the truth of where you are and what this place is truly all about, there's nothing I can say that will change that whatsoever. I wanted to point out this very obvious reflection, and again, no one really talked about the reflections whatsoever that have been shown on this channel since it went dark. Not too many are taking these things really, truly seriously. It's quite obvious. So very few are. I've noticed a couple of remarks so few though so few there's been quite a few other reflections for anyone truly paying attention and 
not wanting to stay in that state of sleep and not wanting to just treat this as some form of entertainment. Again, this has never been entertainment. This is as serious as it gets. Individuals, you just have no idea. The people who are real out there, the ones who are real, the hearts that are real, you just have no concept of how serious this all is. I can't stress that enough. I quite actually can't. Unfortunately. But I've tried. I can say that I very much have tried my utmost. That's it for now. Talk to you again soon. Take care.